this is Pastor Craig, and I want to welcome you to Ask Pastor Craig. Thanks for joining me. My question this evening is this. What does the Bible mean when it says to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling? Okay, man, thanks for your question. There are 2.2 billion Christians in the world today, 1.6 billion Muslims, 1 billion Hindus, 500 million Buddhists, and 400 million pagans. There are 2,500 worshipped gods or deities in this world, spanning 4,200 different religions. In the year 1900, there was 1,600 different denominations. In 1982, there were 33,000 different Christian denominations. And in 2012, which is the last known record taken, there were 43,000 different Christian denominations. These facts are stunning, aren't they? That That's a lot of different ideas about God. And then out of these billions and 43,000 different denominations, all this stuff, there's you. There's you. And the verse that you're talking about is Philippians 2.12 when it says, Therefore, my dear friends, not only in my uh, presence, but so much more in my absence, continue to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you have all these different ideas about God. All these different thoughts about God. All these different denominations. But the most important thought about God is the one that you possess. You know, we have this interesting discourse in Mark chapter 8 when Jesus um, is talking to his disciples and he says, who do people say that I am? And the disciples replied, they said, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others one of the prophets. And then Jesus said, but what about you? Who do you say that I am? And I think that's a powerful conversation because what Jesus is asking the disciples is, I know there are all these different ideas out there about who I am, but who do you think that I am? And that's what the Apostle Paul is saying. He's saying, I want you to own your relationship with God. I want you to own your faith. I want you to be responsible for your faith. I want you to protect and to nurture and to expand and evolve in your own faith. You know, of all the things that we desire, of all the things we like and dislike, all our preferences, all of our biases, who we say that God is, is really the most important aspect of who we are. It's critically important. And that's why the Apostle Paul is, if we could expound upon his words, Paul is saying, you know, it doesn't matter what everybody else says about God. It doesn't matter what everybody else thinks about God. It matters what you think about Him. And so you need to own your faith. You need to own this relationship that you have with God. Be responsible for it. You know, there are far too many times I hear people say, you know, I'm not a Christian anymore because of this, or because I got hurt in the church, or because this person did this to me, or I lost my faith when this ha you know, this person acted this way. Don't let somebody else control your faith. You have to be responsible for your faith. You know, the Harvard Medical School, and Harvard's a big deal, the medical school there did a study, and the study showed that who we think God is, the way that we perceive God, has a profound effect on the way that we experience life. It has a profound effect on the workings of our mind. In fact, this is a quote, psychologists believe that what we believe about God, what we believe about his demeanor, his disposition, who he is, even our belief in his absence, talking about atheism, has a profound psychological impact on our lives. So what the Apostle Paul is saying in that verse, and a lot of people translate that as work out your own salvation with reverence and awe, sincere reverence, sincere seriousness, take your faith seriously, and you work it out. And what we believe that the Apostle Paul is saying there is own your faith. Be responsible for your faith. 
your growth and your maturity and all those kinds of things. Own it. Don't let somebody else hijack your faith. You are responsible for it. And so that's what the verse means, man. Hopefully that helps. God bless you. Thank you for listening. If you have additional questions about this subject or a subject completely unrelated, I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me at this radio program's Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash ROR Ministries. You can reach me at my Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash Pastor Craig Online. God bless you.